Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Sun Shan and today we are going to build a beach farmer's market. Now, if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to the channel and comment below if you've ever been to a farmer's market. Now, we're just gonna go right into it. First, I laid down some pathing and I used this Zen bridge pathing similar to my beach carnival in a previous video. Now, I was inspired to make a farmer's market because on Sundays, I usually go with my mom to a farmer's market where they have different things such as food, produce, plants, and so much more. And of course, I've never been to a beach farmer's market, but I'm sure if there was one, it would be absolutely great. Now, I'm going to use this ice cream truck stand to make like a dessert truck and all the codes that I use in this video will be in the description below. So if you guys want to use it as well, um, I found this one on Instagram and I really like it. I also like to use the festival items because they really match the pink color and I also like the Sanrio items because, I don't know, it just really matches the vibe of this entire build. And at this point, I also do add all like the different food items such as the cakes. Now I do add a few more items including this sign and I also included these lights that were brand new in the 2.0 update. And of course, there is not really tables at a farmer's market or the places I went to, there's usually not tables around, but I think the tables really do match the dessert truck and I think it's really cute. Now, I also use these customized pink fences because why not? More pink, right? Am I right? And here I add some more finishing touches for this particular stand and I do this by adding more tables, putting some carnations down, and putting some more food items down. Now I'm adding these trucks because usually a farmer's market is like a once a week thing so people usually come by with all their stands through using their cars or trucks. And as you can see, here is one for produce and the other is for a plant shop. And here I'm adding more lights. For these lights, I had a hard time deciding exactly which way I wanted to put them but in the end, I just put it back to the way they were because I thought it looked weird putting it sideways. And here, I do put down another stand and this stand is going to be selling pottery but mostly cups, kind of like an artist who is making a bunch of pottery for the community. I do add a few of the new items such as the teacup and of course the vintage teacup and as you can see I'm also struggling because the pathing keeps coming off but whatever and I just put down a bunch of more items and can I just add I really love these lights they're just so so cute I also do add a wooden stool which eventually will have a gyroid on top and here, I do start to decorate for the plant shop and I do this by including the ironwood low table and the wedding table. And I like to put it all around the different locations. I think having the tables on both sides really make it look more like a market. Now here, I just start to add in a few more items, putting a log stool and adding more plants and just a bunch of items for the different trucks. And I just wanted to say I really love all the new 2.0 items, especially this grocery shelf because it really matches the produce stand. Here, I'm adding a counter table to be able to showcase more items and I'm going to add a few food items such as this organic bread and tomato puree. Now I just start to move around the two items, the counter table and the product stand. I'm not too sure what it's called but I'm trying to see which location is the best and eventually I do figure out that I like the snack stand more towards the back with the counter in the front and I add the pumpkin chair and put some fruits on top. At this point, I do start to add a few plant items including this plant starter which I really liked and I also wanted to add maybe like one tree and a shovel because I thought, you know, plant shop, shovels, watering cans, I think that type of stuff really matched. 
And on the other side of the plant shop and the pottery shop, I do add another stall to add maybe kind of like a little flower shop. Get it? Flower? <laughs> anyway, yeah, but I do add another stall. Now, I do keep going back and forth between the different shops because I get so many ideas all at once. So I'm thinking, oh, I want to put this item and that item. So if you see me going back to the dessert shop, then the plant shop, then the grocery produce shop. Yeah, that's why, because I just keep getting so many ideas all at once. Now, to put some of the stands together, I kind of add even more fencing. I add a variety of different colors of the longboard fence. And here I add the iron wood cup board. Now, I was looking at the pottery stand and I was thinking, man, something's missing. The actual pottery, the pots. So I tried to add a few of the pots around the stand and I was struggling so much because the dimensions of these items are very difficult to maneuver, you know? So I was just going everywhere trying to put those pots down. And for this farmer's market, I chose the song KK Country. Now, I wanted to add a few more touches for each of the stands, so for the produce stand, I added a few cardboard boxes to make it look like there was extra produce behind the stand itself. And here, I added another sign, because why not? Now, I was going to add another stand to this area, but I really didn't have any ideas what the stand would have, so I was thinking, you know, when you go to a beach walk, sometimes you might just see a random statue to commemorate something, so I included this statue, which may or may not be fake, at the end of this farmer's market. And here, I do also add some garden benches because I think there should be some places where people can sit after they did their long shopping and having just a lot of fun at this farmer's market. I also do add these Nook Ink balloons which I got from the Nintendo online app on my phone because I had like a thousand points so I thought maybe this would be a good idea to add these unique balloons that not many people use and I just used it all around the entire farmer's market. And here I'm putting down some finishing touches in front of the statue by putting down these turkey day stands. And who can forget the most important thing in this entire build? The dog. After putting down the most important thing through this entire build, I have finally finished my farmer's market, so go ahead and take a look. Now, here's a close-up of the farmer's market on the beach.
thank you guys so much for watching if you like this type of video please let me know down below in the comments and like and subscribe down below to keep updated with any videos that I come out in 2022 I just want to say happy new year's to all of you and hope you guys all have a great year until the next video bye